The next HTC flagship has finally arrived. Welcome the HTC 10, the fourth generation HTC device and the first to drop the One moniker. The HTC 10 is an all-out attempt to fix all the previous problems and complaints of the HTC One line, and we'll have to talk about each of these fixes in this video and future ones, but let's go ahead and unbox the 10. The box is fairly standard HTC affair, looks very similar to the HTC One M9 box from last year. Inside the HTC 10 is sitting on top, ours in the carbon gray color. On the left side you'll get a pile of paperwork you'll never look at, and on the right side you'll find your USB quick charger for your 10 which supports quick charge 3.0 now on to the 10 unwrapping it unveils this beautiful black carbon finish however immediately you see chamfer galore HTC went a little psycho on the chamfers this time around and they literally covered almost 40% of the side of this phone with chamfers though gotta say HTC really know how to make a phone feel solid in the hand now if you're a previous HTC one owner you're going to immediately notice the size bump now now with a 5.2 inch Quad HD IPS display on the front. You're also going to notice the addition of a home button slash fingerprint reader on the front and then the disappearance of your second boom sound speaker. This is a little startling to me because the best mobile audio has always been the HTC boom sound setup, though HTC took a different approach by adding one tweeter on the top and then adding a bass on the bottom side which I suppose is more correct but you do lose stereo sound from the front which is something I absolutely loved and adored on all previous HTC phones. In my opinion, that's a huge mistake and a huge loss for the customer. Spec-wise, the 10 is not coming in short at all. Packed inside is the Snapdragon 820 processor next to 4GB of RAM and the Adreno 530 GPU. Typical flagship affair specs which means you should expect fantastic performance and power throughout the entire system. Another big talk with the 10 is the new camera. For years now HTC has struggled with the camera and this year, yet again, they claim to solve the problem. It's a new 12 megapixel camera down from the massive 21 megapixel unit of the HTC M9 and apparently it's scored the same score as the Samsung Galaxy S7. We'll definitely have to investigate that for ourselves to see what's what. Now software wise the HTC 10 is rocking Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow and the latest version of Sense UI. Now the cool thing about this iteration of HTC Sense is they've worked directly with Google to basically remove all the bloatware from HTC that's been copied by Google. Say if you have a Google calendar and an HTC calendar, the HTC calendar is automatically uninstalled. From first glance the software on the 10 is absolutely polished and does really remind me of basically stock Android but again we'll have to see how it works in the next couple of days and I'll definitely report that back in the full review. And lastly, the 10 comes with a 3000 mAh internal battery that's charged using USB Type-C, the second flagship to incorporate that in 2016. It does support Quick Charge 3.0, which gives about 50% in half an hour, which is pretty darn fast. So that's been the unboxing experience of the HTC 10. The HTC 10 is available for pre-order now, with first unit shipping sometime in May. So make sure to keep it locked here for more coverage on the 10, and make sure to let me know what you would like to see in the next video. Thanks for watching, and as always, my name is Mark. Marco Hanna and I'll catch you in the next video.